However, you do wonder, don't you, Mark Spencer, MP uh, and leader of the House of Commons, whether the likes of Mick Lynch, the RMT rail union leader, is agitating for trouble, very politically motivated. Uh, He's seeking unreasonable pay rises, which are inflation busting. We know we're running a deficit. We've got a colossal national debt. And many think he wants to bring down the government. Don't we need tougher laws to deal with troublemakers like Mick Lynch? So I I think it's true that there there is a little bit of political motivation here. But I think the government does recognise that there is a huge challenge with the cost of living and people do want to try and keep pace their wages with the the size of their bills. That's why we have introduced a huge package of support for individuals. But I I think we learned the lessons of the 1970s, that those huge mass walkouts, those big strike actions only damage society. They don't actually work in the long term. And we've got to, we have to recognize as a society that we've got to solve these challenges together. Uh, And, you know, there are people in my constituency that are working in the private sector on fairly low wages who are literally busting their backsides, working 50, 60 hours a week to try and make ends meet. Uh, And they can't just go on strike if they're you know, if they're working in, on the Tesco checkout or they're an electrician or a plumber or a self-employed uh, person like that, they've got to turn up to work every single day to pay the taxes to keep the system afloat. Well, indeed, and I think that's uh, going to be the view of many of my uh, viewers and listeners. But, Paul Conyu, what's your opinion? I couldn't agree with the professor more. Quite apart from the looming cost of living crisis... For the last 10 years, pay rises in this country have been, have been below the rate of inflation. We now, we now have inflation off the scale and, and, heading, and heading that way. And, and tougher strike legislation is not going to change it. This is, the, this is a government in trouble who are desperately trying to recreate the late 70s, early 80s mentality, the same slogans, union barons holding the country to ransom. But they are, I think, misreading the public mood mood music. The polls are showing a remarkable degree of sympathy, even among Tory voters, not Tory party members, which is a difference, but among (laughs) Tory voters, especially in the in the temporarily lost, I suspect, red wall areas where there is sympathy for the, stri- you know, for the strikers. And I think your attack on Mick Lynch, I think Mick Lynch has become a bit, a bit, of, a bit of a folk hero. He is not a, an ultra extremist. He is a tough negotiator. But we have a government who, and Grant Shapp is a man who won't go anywhere near the table. I mean, the, yeah. In the old days of beer and sandwiches, it sometimes worked. But the, but this is a government who are trying to whip up, misreading the mood, as I said, trying to whip up the old cliches, and it's not working this time because the cost of living crisis is exploding in such a way that that people, whether they're on the left or the right, are feeling the are feeling the pinch, and the idea of declaring a sort of a class war or, or, or on the union movement is not going to work in the way that it, that it did back in, in the heyday of, of, of Thatcher, if you call it a heyday.